Hello and welcome to this slot machine video and a look at three very unique slot machines in particular, ranging from 1936 through to 1937. What makes these different is that they added an extra feature. All three machines perform the same operation as slot machines should. You put a coin in, you pull a handle, three reels spin, depending on the combination you get, you get uh, a payout or not and sometimes even the jackpot. However, manufacturers decided that they needed to add something extra because people were getting a little bit despondent in the fact that they could play for a long time without any payoff. So they had to come up with unique ideas. The three machines we're going to take a look at are the Mills Futurity, this was released in 1936, the Mills Bonus Bell, released in 1937 and also in 37 came this the pace kitty so let's take a look at some of the unique features that kept that gameplay first of all this one this was called the futurity it came out in 1936 and one of the things about this machine is that it allowed people to win their money back it was a win-win situation it proved very popular when it was released by Mills the operators loved it because it kept the gameplay. Now what happens is if you play 10 coins without a single win, as denoted by the dial at the top of the machine, then you would win all of your 10 coins back. Now this was often referred to as a wolf in sheep's clothing for the simple reason it had a unique cheat device in there that almost 99.9% .9 of the time guaranteed you would never get to reach the 10 consecutive plays without winning anything. What would normally happen is you'll get a couple of cherries come up which will pay out three or five coins just um, to make sure that you've never got your 10 coins back. It was a unique system and was often banned in many of the American states and also you'll find that collectors have trouble getting these machines complete because a lot of the operators back then would remove the cheat device and the counter for obvious reasons. Moving on to this machine. Now this one, the Horsehead Bonus or the Bonus Bell from Mills came out in 1937. Had a different angle on this. What they decided to do was to incorporate this little window up here that spelt the word bonus letter by letter. On the first reel there were the letters superimposed over some of the symbols. The idea was you would play this and when you spell the word letter by letter they would pop up in this window. Now what would happen when you get the bonus you win 18 coins. So it kept the gameplay because if you came along to this machine and saw that it was halfway through you only had two letters to get you would be more tempted to play. We then come to this one, the Pace Kitty, one of the most collectible machines available, certainly in this condition, working. What this did was take the Futurity and go one stage further. This was called the Pace Kitty for a reason, because it had a little window down here which was the kitty that would fill up with the coins, and if you played this machine ten times without a single win, that whole kitty would pay out for you. So you've got some money back when you play. When does it fill up? Well, on the first reel, there's a picture of a kitten, and every time that kitten appears on that reel, it puts a coin in there. This also had the dual jackpot at the front, which was also an attractive feature. This was, in fact, based on the Pace Comet, which was a popular model from this company and they adapted it to have the counter window to show you how many plays you had and also the kitty at the front here. 
So here are three unique machines from the 1930s uh, that proved very popular and are very popular among collectors even now. The Mills Futurity, the Bonus Bell and the Pace Kitty.